Boom shakalaka, check out this Bitcoin signal and huge news for altcoins holders. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including you got to see these Bitcoin signals and massive insane news for altcoins and altcoin holders. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love and subscribe to this channel, which just turns out coincidentally to be the coolest channel on all of YouTube, despite what the subscriber counts say. Now, today, Fear and Greed Index at 48, up from yesterday's 43, we were down in fear, we're back in neutral, but this is quite shocking after we've been in greed for many months. The overall market up 2% today, Bitcoin just under 60,000 at 59,321. Ethereum at 29.77, BNB at 5.66, Solana 138, XRP 52 cents, Dogecoin 13 cents, Toncoin 5.36, and Cardano 45 cents. Now, Bitcoin breaking out from this bullish flag pattern the other day. However, as of right now, finding support there and nestling in right at the 100-day moving average. Now, there's also potentially this Igor-type head and shoulders right here. If this is continued, price may go down there, but that's a big if at the moment. Still well above where I predicted Bitcoin would be at the halving, so I'm still very happy, but probably all the people who bought up here, not very happy right now. Now, let's take a look at the charts. The MVRV Z-score showing signs that we once again had a mid-cycle top, which to me is freaking awesome news if 70,000 is the mid-cycle top, which means to me... What is going to be the tippity top? Because when you start saying words like tippity top, that's how you get respect on the street. Now, next chart. <laughs> Over the selling that happened the past two days, Bitcoin dropped 12%, but short-term holders sent very little Bitcoin to exchanges at a loss. Interesting. Minimal compared to previous drawdowns this year. Lettuce hands becoming slightly less erratic. Signs of maturing market. Do we have young diamond hands among us? Nobody has fleshy human hands like me. Everybody's either a lettuce or a diamond. Bitcoin right now, though, printing a huge TD9 buy signal on the TD sequential. Now, this is the same exact uh, indicator that talked about the top here with this 13 sell signal back here at the top. Wouldn't you have loved to have sold at $74,000 and then bought here at 58? dollars Of course you would have. But that's hindsight, and that's 2020. Every other site is like 20, whatever's worse in 2020. Now, the TD sequential, like I said, you can see right here. Had the sell signal here, has the buy signal right here. Are you going to respect it this time? Maybe this time it's wrong. There's no saying. But Bitcoin's most recent correction, much needed for the price going forward. Not only has Bitcoin made a full retest of the 20-week EMA, this blue line right here at 56.7, but also return to indicator support zones like the directional movement indicator down here at bottom. Inside the support zone, generally this tends to go up over time with little spikes outside of there, but continuing up there. Most corrections we see in bull markets come inside these diagonal zones, so making an entry here is great for the future. If you didn't get shaken out, or if you want to buy in more, now could be a great time. Or if you're just hodling, like me, great time to just be in there. Because hodling's awesome until it's a bear market and you're at the absolute bottom and then you feel like a schmuck for hodling. But hodling up is awesome. Now, Bitcoin usually bounces when the daily RSI touches 35 and under, which we can see right here. And price gets close to the 100 daily SMA, which is this red line right here. This time is not different. Great advice for how to trade. Once again, awesome buying opportunity for Bitcoin. Turns out this time it might not be different. We can see since November of 2022... Every top drop below support, top drop below support, over and over again, top drop below support, this time is probably different, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's just the same thing over and over and over again, and we're just getting manipulated by people who know how to move money better than we do, and that's just the same thing. Money always flows from the dumb hands to the smart hands, and oftentimes my hands are dumb hands, and if you're dumb hands too, well, then you've joined the coolest YouTube channel, YouTuber ever in terms of having dumb hands now and also every other trader on the face of the planet now bitcoin's last deviation before its run to 110,000, quite possible on the daily time frame it looks like yet another manipulation before bitcoin takes off plus the logarithmic macd 
reintegrated, the reset zone could be crossing bullish promptly. You can see after we have these wedges, bullhorns, whatever you want to call them, deviations to the bottom breaks out. Well, the next one could be $110,000 reset zone for the LMACD. And when Bitcoin starts moving up, me have is a feeling it's going to move up pretty darn rapidly. You see, we've already had our 10,000 down in a day. We're soon going to have 10,000 up in a day. And then FOMO and Frenzy is going to take over because the halving already happened. There's no Bitcoin left anywhere. And all of a sudden, you're trying to buy a Furby or a Cabbage Patch Kid or something on Christmas Eve at Kmart and you just can't find it or Tamagotchi. And all of a sudden, Bitcoin is the most uh, scarce thing on the face of the planet. Now, when Bitcoin price does start moving up, the short liquidations in the range of sixty-seven dollars to $72,000. Not bad. Only 10% above where the price is right now. Don't know the exact day they get wrecked, but Seth here is confident that they will get wrecked. As confident as Jerome Powell in the last FOMC. Yes, when they get wrecked, price is going to jump dramatically. Because while we may dip a bit lower, I think it's worth it when you consider that breaking outside of these gentle uptrends generally leads to an absolutely massive pump for Bitcoin. And the longer it takes to get there, this is a nice cooling down period because it makes it longer. The longer Bitcoin consolidation, the higher the price when it meets this trend line. If you follow from the bottom, follow support there, that'll take you to the next top. Happens over and over again. And you can see this one, the longer it takes to get there right now, that's between two hundred ten and $330,000. And heck, take even longer. Let's just go to a mill. Because for those people who only have Bitcoin, I don't know if there are any of them left out there. They call them maximalists. But everybody else has altcoins. And this chart could be the most awesome chart for altcoins that I've seen in a very long time. Want this to go down as his best call ever, Bitcoin dominance reversal. Now, Bitcoin dominance moves between Bitcoin and altcoins. When Bitcoin dominance drops, altcoins and alt season take off. So you can see this consolidation wedge right here breaking to the downside, likely signaling we might have an alt season. And this is going to be an alt season to remember, like those car commercials that they have around Christmas. This will be an alt season to remember because of expanding cycles theory. I didn't get that chart ready. I should have done that. What was I thinking? Well, anyways, this could be absolutely massive for altcoins. I think particularly for meme coins as well because now 12-year-olds can buy crypto. So that's all for this episode. If you did enjoy it, like the video. If you didn't enjoy it, don't like the video or just comment down below. Help the YouTube algorithm. Uh, also, come join us on Twitter at The Crypto Love. And of course, subscribe to the coolest channel on all of YouTube irrespective of subscriber counts or likes on videos or video watches or people even talking about the channel or notoriety or any of this stuff, irrespective of all of that, still the coolest channel because I said so and nobody else said differently. So that's all for this episode. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.